So I'll just quickly show that because that is what I need to show you, the inventory reporting. So yeah, I mean, if I go in reports and items in inventory, here there are tons of reports that you can use of, uh, for, of NetSuite to, to see your on and stocks, so you see your inventory valuations, uh, to see your stock ledgers. And I'll just open you know, a few of them. So perhaps uh, inventory snapshot and inventory valuation and inventory profitability. These are some important reports that you can always review to see your on and stocks. So this is my current inventory snapshot and uh, this is gonna take some time to uh, open, but I'll just refresh this. And this is this is a very very good report. This is going to show you each and everything about this uh, item and the location and subsidiary. So let's just wait for this to open. And in the meantime, I will also show you this inventory valuation summary. So here, for each item, you can see the inventory value for which you have this and the quantity on hand. So see this Range Rover item. I have you know nine Range Rovers uh, for the value of nine hundred. So I can see the value of my inventory as well and the quantity as well. So you can see the on end quantities as well. So, so does that answer your question? Like if you wanna see your available quantity, you can always use this inventory valuation summary as well. Yeah, that is fine. So all the reports is available under this. So uh, I will see the reports, what are the reports is available and uh, how it works. Okay, okay, okay. And you know, this item uh, inventory and we can able to yeah 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 go ahead so uh we can able to you know cancel or else uh, transfer or else adjust with the damaged item also here uh in the inventory item mm. so you you're saying damaged you items can... yeah damaged items so damaged items uh the question is that you can you see them in this reports is that the question Uh, Shivraj, uh, your question is that do you want to see the damage goods on in this uh, report? Is is that what I, the correct understanding is? Uh, so good, like uh, something. I uh, yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, could you please yeah, repeat I can again? Hear you now. Yeah, I, I'm just reiterating your question. Your question is that can you see your damaged items in this uh, report? Is that the correct question? Yes. So how to find that uh, damaged items uh, uh, in the current uh, uh, stock? Right, so there are multiple ways. Like for instance, you know, if you are in your inventory valuation report, um, you can do filters, you know, you can do that by location. So I have this damaged goods location separately created over here. See, in my location. So I can click on that and I can refresh this. And this is gonna show me all the goods that are available in my damaged location. So. You know, this is also one way of uh, finding your damaged goods. And if there is any specific item that you want to find, let's say, you know, this is the item that is a damaged item. I can just copy the item. I can use this find option over here and I can just find it. So NetSuite is going to find that item for me here as well. So multiple ways of, you know, finding the damaged goods in NetSuite. You can create a separate damaged lo goods location. Mm -hmm. And from that, you know, you can track your uh, stocks. That's, that's the most appropriate way of uh, dealing with damaged goods. Okay. Does that make does that make sense? Because you know, when whenever you go in a warehouse, you will notice that there is a separate place available for the damaged goods. Damaged goods are never kept with the with the with the good goods, right? There there is always yes. a separate place for all the damaged goods. So that's why NetSuite recommends to create that as a separate location. So when you create a separate location, you can then filter your reports by location. So if I want to see all the damaged goods, I will simply filter my report with location called damage goods. And I will refresh this and it is going to show me all the items that I have in my damaged inventory. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Does that Okay. Yes, yes. So yeah, this this is how you can track your damage goods in NetSuite. Mm -hmm. Okay. So any any other questions? I mean this current okay, great. So this current inventory snapshot is also now available. So I will just, you know, uh, 
filtered this again you know this is also filtered by location so all the inventory reports are filtered by location so let's say if i want to see what is in my san francisco warehouse i can just refresh this okay no data available which is not good let's use us where is menti okay so here see what information that you are able to uh, get you have your items over here you have your descriptions of the items you have your reorder points preferred stock levels anything that is on hand you know it's available in this report anything that is on order meaning that you know you have created any any purchase order for this item you can also see that or uh, order details over here you can see what to order what is in transit so perhaps if you have made any transfer order from one location to another and still you haven't received it you can see that in the in transit column as well so you get all the visibility in this current okay. inventory snapshot related to your items mm -hmm. okay all right so so yeah these these are very uh, you know crucial and very important reports uh, that would be used by all the inventory management people and the supply chain management people to track their inventories and to plan their inventories so is there any separate report to track or discount items or, or else we can able to see those items in this report set not discount items right discount item does not have its own inventory right you do not have a discount item as a stock like i mean if i go in a retail store yes. there is nothing called discount item right so it's, it's just an item record <laughs> yeah. and uh, you know if you want to if you want to see your discount items you can go in list uh, accounting items and this is the page, as I mentioned, you know, will show you all the items that are created in your NetSuite account right now. And uh, here, what mm -hmm. you can do is filter the results. The best thing is you can do the filtration. So let, let me just, uh, you know, okay. uh, open this up really quick. I'll just show you how to do that. Okay, so here, notice that these are all the items. And now I want to see what are my discount items. So here you can see there is this type filter. And I can select my type yes. as discount. So now you will be able to see all the discount items that are created in your account. So these are all the discount items that I have. Mm -hmm. And you can filter this to see all so the items. Creating items. items on... Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. So while creating well, items, uh, uh, there will be option uh, to apply uh, discount separately, or else we need to uh, create separate discount items uh, uh, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to create a separate discount item, and then you have to create your normal inventory item. And when you when you select this item on your sales transaction, that's where you can you know uh, select the discount that needs to be applied on this order, because you know you will not mm -hmm. be giving any discounts uh, all the time, right? This is perhaps you know based Correct. on the transaction or the situation. So that's why uh, discounts are directly not applied on the item side, uh, but it is on the sales side but but you can do one thing like let's say if you want to up, uh, offer a discounted price what you can do is you can go on the item record uh, let me just open an item record here uh, okay yeah here it is so this is my item record let's say ac57891 this is an audi r8 car and i want to give a discounted price for this so what i can do is i can go in my sales and pricing tab and instead of giving a discount separately, what I can do is I can go in my sales and pricing tab and here notice that you have this discounted price levels. So you can give a discounted price over here rather than giving a discount separately, you can set a price that is discounted if that makes sense. Correct. Correct. So it will be up to, uh, it, it, it will be applied to the particular item. So instead of creating separate uh, a discount, uh, yes right exactly exactly so yeah you can you can give a discounted price instead of giving a discount separately yes okay 